What is fashion psychology and what can it offer us? How popular is this specialty today? Do we need this type of expert in the fashion world? Is there a future for fashion psychology? Our program will give you more details about this new area of the fashion industry. Fashion psychology is a new concept in the fashion world. It reveals the connection between clothes and emotions. The word psychologist today can sound serious and perhaps even slightly alarming. However, the fashion psychologist doesn't solve complex psychological problems. Most likely, the peculiarity of fashion psychology is to help people demonstrate their personality, correctly emphasizing appearance. Fashion psychology encompasses two areas. This industry was created by mixing two main professions such as fashion, stylist and psychology. Anyway, this is working with client. Psychology, but only using clothes. And through the manifestation of man with the help of clothing. Fashion has long been a part of our daily lives. It's connected with politics and with social change in society. And it definitely affects our relations with one another. Human behavior often depends on clothing. It definitely has an effect, especially for women. If she's dressed as she likes, colors, the style, then of course she feels more comfortable. When a woman likes herself as she looks in the mirror, she falls in love and inspires the people around her. It turns out that clothing can help us to express ourselves and to improve our lives or create certain barriers in society. With the help of clothes, we always solve two basic questions – whether fit into a certain group or stand out from it. Of course, with the help of clothes, we can show ourselves. You will be perceived as you dress. If this sphere of your activity is the legal or business sphere, then you should choose business suits. If you're an artist or a creative person, most likely you will wear clothes in a freer style. Of course, this is all very individual. In general, all clear forums, they mean the business side of our lives. All soft forums mean freedom of expression, fewer restrictions and some creative manifestations. Well, if your activity is related to your personal brand, then you should declare your identity with the help of your appearance. In this case, the services of a fashion psychologist will be able to help you. But it's always important to remember what task you are pursuing. When a client turns to a specialist, we always decide what problem we're solving at present – a stylistic or image one. In order not to look ridiculous, it is necessary to take into account the situation depending on where you are invited – to a business meeting or to a restaurant. But since we are still social people, it is important for us to take into account and how we need to look in this place. The field of fashion psychology is becoming increasingly popular in modern society. Don Karen, who teaches at the New York Fashion Institute of Technology, influenced the development of fashion psychology. She also advises fashion brands. Don Karen believes that things not only affect our appearance, but also make people feel different. Don developed her own technique. 
According to her, fashion psychology is the study of how color, style, and image affect a person's emotions and behavior. This specialty hasn't gained official status in Ukraine yet. Though many stylists, image makers in their work with clients combine the skills that a fashion psychologist should possess. Daria Morgan is a psychologist by training, but at some point she felt her real profession is fashion psychology. It is really necessary to have two higher educations, so that they came together at one point. Stylists also believe that knowledge of psychology will help them in their work with clients. It is necessary to be very sociable, you need to be a bit of a psychologist, because everyone has their own preferences, their own style in life. A course called Fashion Psychology was launched a few years ago by the psychologist Carolina Meyer at the University of the Arts London. Graduates of this course have created an online magazine on fashion psychology. This magazine introduces readers to this new area. It describes the features of the psychology of studying fashion and whether such a specialization is important as a fashion psychologist or, as it's still called, dress doctor. It seems to me that it is really important in personal style. When we work with a specific person, we help him or her with the assistance of clothing, to say something about oneself. For many women, the process of choosing a wardrobe is a kind of therapy. And in this case, the trust relationship between the client and the stylist is very important. Of course, this is shopping therapy. I always like to communicate with customers. And this is incredible. You immerse yourself completely in the life of the client. Women are quite impulsive, and often, by giving in to impulse, we buy a beautiful thing. But soon we put the new dress in the closet on the top shelf. We understand, once again, that there is nothing to wear. A fashion psychologist is like a doctor. After all, he knows both stylistic laws in the creation of an image and fashion trends. Like a psychologist, he or she will be able to choose the right things that suit you not only by external parameters, but also by internal content. If you have psychological problems, a suit will not solve them. You will just change outfits, but nothing will change. You will not alter. I don't think it is possible to solve any global problems with the help of clothes, but the first step in solving these problems is clothing. External appearance can tell a lot about a person, and clothing plays an important role here. In general, clothing is a kind of language. Clothing is our nonverbal language, and we make an impression in a few seconds. 80% of this impression is based on clothes, and 20% is sent out via facial expressions, gestures, speech, and its content. Clothes are, of course, included in this first impression. It is important not to forget that the main task of clothing is comfort and positive emotions. The task of beautiful clothing is to inspire a woman. I was a stylist for Maria Yafrosinina for six years. She always told me that her mood was different in the clothes I dressed her in. It changed her mood, and she even presented TV programs differently. It was the same with Olya Polyakova. She told me that feels like a goddess in my style, and that she'd give a concert in a different way. And where else, in what area except for fashion, can a fashion psychologist be useful? The fashion psychologist can be used in two roles. On the one hand, if the psychologist is attracted to the seller, then there may be some tips that allow you to manipulate the buyer, starting from the colors that will be in demand. There's the merchandising direction, it is very important. But it's a very manipulative direction, as we have overproduction in the modern world. Because in the 
a psychologist who will help a person to change his image and change his perception of himself, changing life for the better, is very necessary for people. In fact, the modern consumer is becoming more and more critical of the fashion industry. But with the help of fashion psychology, it's possible to predict how a particular brand of clothing can affect the consumer. When we know and are able to read our consumers with the help of clothes, we can draw certain conclusions about them and with the help of certain nuances influence their choice. It turns out that clothing affects not only the emotional state of a person, but also the way we think and position in society. Professor and scientist Adam Glinsky of Columbia Business School did an experiment with his students. They were asked to solve problems. One section solved problems in lab coats and the other in casual clothes. That part of the students who wore lab coats solved the problem more quickly, and their decision was more accurate. This once again confirms that we know very little about the effect of clothing on a person. Fashion psychologists advise us to use accessories. They will help to improve our existing image and emphasize your character. Accessories also play a huge role in one's image. That is, with their help we can always say something about ourselves. That is, even if we're wearing a serious suit. What are the earrings like? And whether or not bracelets are being worn? You know, the manifestation of femininity is very easy to spot on open wrists and the same ankles. What a decoration is on the neck. Do men really have the most common materials and accessories? It's either metal or leather. And this and that is a manifestation of masculinity. And well, positioning yourself, well, from such a masculine point of view, so yes. If you follow the principle of psychology according to the influence of clothing and color on our internal condition, we can say that the color blue helps us to feel confidence and stability. The colors black and blue will most likely fit our formal dress code. Gray is considered the color of diplomats. If you want to be remembered, then wear red. But fashion psychologists still advise us not to use this color in our wardrobe often. How else we can draw attention and be remembered in appearance? With the help of constantly repeated chips in our external appearance, which are associated with a particular person. Celebrities, politicians, businessmen and actors often resort to them. Margaret Thatcher wore a brooch. Even on photos where she sat with her newly born children, we can always see her wearing her brooch. It is an understanding of stability. Steve Jobs can be the same example of a unique individuality. His black turtleneck, jeans and New Balance sneakers. In order not to lose your individuality, but on the contrary, with the help of clothes, accessories to prove yourself, it is better to turn to a fashion psychologist. But is there a future for such a trend as fashion psychology in the fashion industry? I hope there is, I'm sure there is, because people will always dress and wear clothes and will always make some sort of impression on other people. And with the help of clothes, it is easier for us to say something about ourselves. And while we continue to live in a society and while we're so interesting and each of us is unique and individual and we all want to say something about ourselves, until then the inner state of a person and how she or he manifests it and translates it into the world around them will be important. Well, clothes simply help us to do this. And that's all. Fashion psychology is attempting to find the way how to enrich the experience of a person in his or her contact with fashion. How does clothing affect the emotional state of a person? And how does a person influence fashion? There are no educational institutions in Ukraine where you can study this specialty. And yet this trend is in demand both in marketing and in the creation of a personal image. Many modern brands and designers seek advice from fashionable psychologists. Today we live in a golden era, 
when purchasing clothes, shoes and accessories is not a difficult task. The profession of fashion psychologist is becoming increasingly popular in the modern world, and only time will tell the extent to which it will take root.